Yesterday morning, we received the latest leak for GTA 6. Now this leak didn't come from a hacker, but surprisingly, it came from a lead developer for Rockstar Games, Sun. This clip showed a view above a highway in developer or creator mode, overlooking the whole of downtown Vice City, and the leak has been proven to be real based on the leaks back in 2022. But before we get into the video, there's two things I want to say. Firstly, obviously the usual stuff, if you enjoy the video, please consider liking and subscribing. But secondly, and it's not in this video, but hopefully by next video, I'll have a channel sponsor, um, a brand that wants to work with me. I'm not going to say too much about it now, but I've only been doing this for two months and to have a brand that wants to work with me is really cool. And the products are really cool as well. So that'll be in another video. So let's get into it. So from what we understand, the developer was working from home and his son had access his computer and filmed a short video of the screen. He then sent this to one of his friends. His friend then posted this video to TikTok and from there, the internet, Reddit, etc., did the rest of the work. We also have some more information from the leaker, which I'll go into later in the video. The kid also posted a photo of himself with a Rockstar developer confirming there is also a direct in-person relation to the developer. Now, I can't show the footage, but if you search for it on Twitter, it will come up. And one of the reasons we know it's real because Take-Two Interactive are submitting copyright claims and having the footage taken down from wherever it is cropped up online. Also, I'm not going to link the footage or say the developer's name as this is a well-respected employee of Rockstar and I feel like throwing shade on people I somewhat look up to would be doing Rockstar a disservice. I feel awful for this employee because the situation is just awful for them and everyone involved. Now, from this footage, I've got to say the city looks incredible. And weirdly, one of the biggest things that stood out to me was the foliage. There's trees, etc. around the city and it just looks like it is a living breathing city it looks mental now from the leaker we also got some other information about the game someone dropped the leaker a message and the leaker was more than forthcoming with information about the game however take all of this with a pinch of salt we can confirm the authenticity of the footage but we can't confirm the authenticity of what the leaker says. Upon being asked about the game, the guy says, the map is about twice the size of Los Santos. All I can say, the map leak is real. I'm not entirely sure what he's referring to here. I'm assuming he means just the footage itself. There will be three major cities and four sub-cities with smaller areas surrounding, with a large lake around the middle of the map. Now this could either be the truth or that he's just respouting theories which we've seen online regarding the map with the lake in the middle. Although he may have been sent those eight seconds of footage from his friend showing the screen, there is no proof he's seen anything other than that. He could just be respousing the theories that we've seen online regarding the map with the lake in the middle. And regarding other cities, that's probably referring to places like Port Galhorn. I don't think it'll be three major Vice City sized cities or anything like Los Santos and Liberty City in one map. The guy was then asked if there would be volumetric clouds and the user stated that he'd only seen the late development game and that volumetric clouds will be added in the game, plus there'll be a lot more. Considering the map is twice the size, they are making sure that almost 70% of the buildings are enterable. The game is estimated to come out around fall 2024 if there's no delays. Now this is really exciting. As I've said in my other videos, the main thing I care about is more interiors and areas to explore within the game. If this is true and we can enter most buildings, this is an absolute game changer. Now something I want to touch upon is the complexity of this situation. Clearly the Rockstar developer's son put too much trust in his friend, and it's worth remembering that this leak has a human element to it. Whilst leaks are cool and us as the community love looking at them, the leaker has not only betrayed his friend but also the Rockstar employee. If I had seen in-game footage and had a personal relationship to the person that showed me them, no amount of views or notoriety would be worth betraying someone's trust. I genuinely do feel for the developer here and even his son who sent the clip to his friend as kids do make mistakes. But this has been a very harsh lesson in trust. Thank you all for watching today's video. If you did enjoy please consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you all in the next video.